So here's the deal. There's really no formula for how to make these things. Every visor is unique. Because we're all using different scraps and materials, you just have to use your own creativity for how to jazz it up. So while I play this footage of what I did to make this visor, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the concept of a gypsy diva. If you've been following along with my website or my YouTube channel, you'll know that I'm creating an extensive guide to music festival survival. As part of the guide, I've created all types of packing lists and resources for what to bring and how to plan and prepare yourself for the extreme music festival environments. It's my opinion that the number one most important thing to bring to any type of outdoor adventure is your gypsy diva. As a born and bred Southern Belle, I'll always be a diva. However, in my recent years, my inner gypsy is really shining through and the combination of the two has really enhanced the quality of my adventures. The best way to maximize the spectacularness of life is to unleash both your inner gypsy and your inner diva, but you must know which, how much, and when to do so. You should never sacrifice an experience for comfort, so harness your diva for the planning and packing, and then once you get out into the elements, it's time to release the gypsy. Because my inner diva can be high maintenance, she wants to make sure I'm prepared for any situation. Years of traveling and hundreds of shows and festivals have trained her into knowing some of the basic necessities that are crucial for any situation that involves being active or outdoors in various conditions and partying for long periods of time. She's also aware that these activities often involve lots of hot dudes but can be very trying on your outer appearance. So for your next trip, let the diva handle all of the preparations but then you can leave her behind because divas don't flourish in the wilderness. On the other hand, the gypsy is the most important thing you can bring if you are really looking to enjoy yourself. She's down for whatever, she can tough it out and have fun even if conditions aren't exactly ideal. She's adaptable, spontaneous, and carefree, but maybe sometimes a little bit too carefree. She needs the diva to provide her with the resources to prevent her from losing her shit, looking haggard, being unprepared, and lacking in the hygiene department, which she is prone to doing if left unchecked. Never go full gypsy. Together, they make a great team. So now back to the creation of the visor genizer. As you can see, I'm just kind of making it up as I go. It doesn't have to look perfect, so don't get too caught up with the details. Get wabi-sabi with it, which is a Buddhist term in which one finds beauty and imperfections. Visors are so crucial to have at any type of outdoor event, and these big floppy ones are awesome because they're so durable. You can mash them up and stuff them in your suitcase and they don't get dented and ruined. I prefer a visor over a hat because I can wear my hair up in a clip and it allows my head to breathe, not to mention my hair gets lighter in the sun. Hats are too hot in my opinion and also require you to wear your hair down or in a low ponytail which can also be hot and bothersome. Check out my video, Music Festival Essentials, for more tips on crucial items to bring to any festival. One thing you want to keep in mind with certain materials is the Velcro. The Velcro in this visor sticks to the sparkly material and over time would tear it up. So I'm placing other material from my fanny pack pants around the Velcro section to protect the sparkly part. I'm pretty stoked to rock this visor for the first time at Envision Festival, especially with the newly added pocket feature. I'm all about having pockets and stash spots. You can never have enough.
found this video useful, do me a favor, like it, share it, subscribe, and stay tuned because I'm making it my mission to find the dopest festival gear and bringing it all to you right here at wakeandmake.com. So holla at your girl.